Hello, hello. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of building lasting faith through challenging times. Listen, we all face challenging and difficult times in our lives. Listen, nobody is spared from the challenges, from the difficulties of life, not one of us. And sometimes people think that believers are spared from the difficult and the challenging times of life. And that's simply not true. We experience the same challenges, the same difficulties, the same heartbreak as everyone else. But there's one thing different. We have a hope that goes beyond our current situations, beyond what we can currently see or experience. And that's what makes living this Christian life so valuable. Listen, there's going to be times in our life when it seems like everything is falling apart, when we are left feeling lost and alone. But I pray to God that none of us are left feeling hopeless because being hopeful is such an important aspect of the Christian life. You know, but in these difficult and trying times, we know that our faith is being tested, but our faith is also being strengthened. So it's not a terrible thing when our faith is being tested. I mean, we face situations that, no, we don't want to face, the situations that we could do without. But in the end, it just builds our faith like nothing else in this world will. Listen, in the book of James, we're told to consider it pure joy when we face trials of many kinds because the testing of our faith produces perseverance and perseverance must finish its work so that we may mature and be made complete not lacking anything in Christ you know when we are built up and matured and complete in our faith with the Lord that doesn't mean that we have every material thing on this earth it simply means that internally we have that peace that passes understanding we have that hope that nothing can take away from us we have that peace that even the worst of times cannot cause us to lose it we may shake once in a while we may fall off we may have moments in our life where we don't feel as powerful we don't feel as strong we don't feel as hopeful but at the end of the day as believers in jesus christ we can always put our hope back in the lord and rejoice in our lives because his presence is still very much with us and available you know, these difficult and trying times, they remind us that the trials we face are not meant to break us, okay? They're not meant to break us and tear us down, but to build us up and to make us stronger in our faith. That's what the testing is for. When we face challenging times, it can be easy, right, to question our beliefs and to wonder if God is even truly with us or not. We all get into those situations. So I don't want you to feel bad if you think that you sometimes don't even believe that God is with you. Listen, we all go through times where we don't feel God's presence, where we don't truly believe that he's with us. But it comes back to truth. We have got to believe the truth of God's word that says he will never leave us nor forsake us. That means regardless of how we feel, the Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. So we have to remember that God is always by our side. He's guiding us through every single storm and he's helping us to come out stronger on the other side. He is, friends. Listen, as it says in Isaiah 41.10, it tells us to fear not for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And friends, that's a promise that we can take to the bank. That's a promise that we can build our life on. That's a promise that we can lay the foundations for our life and just 
steady ourselves and stand firm on just that one promise. Church, that's only one promise from the word of God. And there are many, many more. Listen, building lasting faith through challenging times, it requires us to trust God's plan for our life, even when we cannot see the way forward. And a couple of weeks ago, I can't really remember when I put together a video on trusting God. I can't remember the exact title, but I'm going to link it here just in case you're interested. You can go back and watch that. So trusting God, it requires us to continue to pray. It requires us to continue to seek God for his guidance, even when it feels like our prayers are going unanswered. And right here, I just want to stop for a second because I just realized that I forgot to introduce myself. So my name's Michelle. And um, if you come here all the time, I just want to thank you for allowing me to speak biblical truth into your life. And if this is the first time you were here, what you'll find here is biblical encouragement to encourage you to create and build your own personal intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, let's continue with this message. Um, strengthening our faith, it requires us to lean on our faith community for support and encouragement, knowing that we are not alone in our struggles. Listen, that's why I believe so much in the local church. If we have the local church by our side, we can go through anything. Yes, not every single person in the local church has your back. I get that. But there are many people in the local church who are real Jesus followers and they want to help you. They want to encourage you. They want to walk these difficult and trying times with you and to be with you and let you know that God is still with you, that God loves you and that he will never leave you nor forsake you. And you need people in your life to cheer you on when life is, is spinning out of control, when life literally feels like it's going to break you, the church is a valuable, valuable community for all of us Jesus followers. Listen, as we navigate through the storms of life, we have to hold fast to our faith. We do, and we have to trust that God is going to see us through not just halfway through, not just partway through, but all the way through. God is going to see us all the way through the storms in our life. So we have to remember what Romans 8.28 says. It says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purposes. Listen, God loves us and he is going to continue to work all of the good through our life when we continue to seek him for the strength and endurance and perseverance that we need listen let us build lasting faith through challenging times knowing that our god he is faithful our god is faithful and he will not abandon us the word says that even when we are faithless, he remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. Hey, look at there. There's another promise from God's word that we can literally build our lives on. So may we all be strengthened in our faith and encouraged to persevere through whatever challenges come our way. Listen, in life, faith serves as the thread that weaves moments of uncertainty into a fabric of resilience and hope as children of God we can weave a fabric out of our life that helps us to be resilient and hopeful no matter what I mean I don't know about you but that's what I want for my life I would love to be resilient and hopeful through the challenging and trying and difficult situations in my life. Amen. Building lasting faith is not merely an endeavor or belief, but it's a profound journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. In our pursuit of lasting faith, we must remember 
to embrace the journey, all right? Faith is not a destination, but a path we walk every single day. Listen, this is a faith journey. This is a faith walk. And we walk it every single day of life. So we have to embrace the highs and the lows for each step forward. Is It's a testimony to our resilience and trust in the divine plan that God has for our life. And it's a good, good thing. The other thing we must do is cultivate stillness in our life. Listen, in the chaos of life, we have got to find moments of stillness to connect to that inner voice, right? That inner stillness. You know, through prayer and meditation and quiet reflection, we actually nourish the roots of our faith. We live in such a distracting time. Like we have so many things to distract us. So I get that it's difficult to just to be still and to just really reflect and think and connect to that still small voice that's on the inside of us. But listen, friends, we have to do it. If we want to build our faith so that it's lasting and strong and resilient, then we have got to be able to spend quiet time with the Lord, just reflecting and nourishing our soul, nourishing our faith, nourishing, watering the roots of our faith so that they can grow strong and healthy. Amen. We also need to seek knowledge, okay? True faith is not blind faith, okay? It is an informed wisdom. It's an informed knowledge. It's an informed way of living. When we engage with scripture and spiritual teachings and the experience of others to deepen our comprehension of faith and to broaden our perspective, friends, that's going to grow deep roots. Listen, we cannot be in a lone Christian. We can't live on an island by ourselves and think that our faith is going to be strengthened. No, we need others to help us. We need others to help us to experience different things, to experience life in different ways, to experience life with a new perspective. Like that all helps to deepen our faith. That helps to build our faith. When we see our sisters and brothers in Christ go through difficult and trying times and still praise and worship the Lord, doesn't that build your faith? I mean, it does for me. I think it's a very, very valuable part of our Christian walk. The other thing we must do is practice gratitude. Gratitude is the soil in which faith flourishes, okay? We have to cultivate a heart of thankfulness, finding beauty in the simplest of blessings, in strength, in moments of adversity. Listen, we have got to have gratitude in our hearts so that we can see life with a different lens so that we can see life out of the beauty that God provides and not out of the evil that the enemy tries to provide for us. We must stay focused on all of the blessings, all of the beauty that is all around us because of God, right? It's because of God that we can breathe this air, that we can survive on this planet, that we can even function as a complete human being. Listen, this human body is a masterpiece. This just did not come into being. You and I did not come into being by mistake or by an explosion. This body that we are walking around in is a masterpiece created by the one and only creator, God of the universe. Amen.
Well, I'm feeling this message here. I hope you are too. So another thing we need to build our faith is community and support. I know I talked a little bit about it earlier, but we have to surround ourselves with a community of fellow believers, fellow travelers who will uplift us and inspire us on our journey. And I pray that we're doing the same for them. Like this is a give and take relationship. When you're walking with believers, with true followers of Jesus Christ, it should always be a give and take. You should be building them up when they're down and they should be building you up when you're down. You know, because together we can navigate this winding path of life and we can draw strength from each other. We can draw strength from each other's faith. I mean, sometimes our faith feels weak and we see another person whose faith is just blossoming and bursting out of them. Well, that encourages us to put our focus back on the Lord and allow him to continue to just build and strengthen our faith. Another thing we can do to build our faith is to serve others. Listen, service is the heartbeat of faith because in serving others, we embody the love and compassion of our beliefs. We embody the love and compassion of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? His word says that he did not come to be served, but to serve. And that's what he did. He served out of deep compassion and love for each one of us. And we should do the same as the example that he left us. We should treat others the way that we ourselves want to be treated in the way that Jesus Christ treated us. We have to understand that every single one of us are God's children, okay? So God doesn't want us to just be tearing each other down and to be beating each other up and just backstabbing and criticizing and just being ruthless with each other. That needs to stop. We have got to be in this together and in what together in this journey this faith journey this faith journey this faith walk that never ends from the time we become born again believers until we go home that's our journey that's the journey i'm talking about here on earth that we need to have a community around us so anyway whether through acts of kindness or charity or mentorship we have to be beacons of hope in the lives of those around us. I mean, for myself, I remember the people who took time to share encouragement with me, to share kindness, to share mentorship, you know, guidance with me. And it meant a great deal. And I've returned the favor to other people. And I just hope and pray that all of us are helping those who need help around us. And the last thing I'm going to talk about here is embracing doubt. Listen, doubt is not the enemy of faith, but it's companion on the journey. Let me say that again. Doubt is not the enemy of faith, but it's companion on the journey. Listen, when we doubt, we search. When we have a doubt about something in life on this journey, you know, on this faith walk, I pray that we are searching it out in the scriptures. All right, doubt is not sin. If we're doubting something and if we're not going to the word of God, then we're not going to get the whole story. We need to be searching these doubts out in the word of God, in prayer, in fellowship with other believers so that we can come to the root of that doubt and just tear it out of our lives by replacing it with truth and watering it with God's word and allowing our faith to be strengthened and grown through that doubt. Amen. We have to allow doubt to deepen our understanding, right? And help lead us in a more profound and authentic way. I mean, that's what doubt for a Christian looks like when we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, there's very few things when we truly believe that can cause us to not believe, right? There's lots of things that can cause us to doubt. So when we're doubting, I don't want you to be condemned about that. I want you to get your Bible and search this thing out and pray it out, pray it through. 
I also done a video not too long ago about praying through these situations that we go through. Listen, we got to be tougher. We have to be stronger in our prayer life. Like we can't just pray for something one time and if it doesn't happen, just give up and go about our business. No, there's some things that we're going to have to pray all the way through. So I'm also going to put that video up here. So in case you're interested, please check it out. Because as we walk this faith journey, you know, I want our faith to be a guiding light for others. I want it to be revealing the dark corners of our lives and those around us. And I want it to be inspiring us to live with courage and compassion and conviction. I don't want these dark times to keep us small, to keep us from doing anything, keep us terrified and fearful of stepping out. No, I want these challenges, these struggles, these difficulties to cause us to run to the Lord so that he can just meet us right where we're at so that he can receive us and build us up in our faith by loving us and by showering us with grace and compassion. Amen. I hope that word encourages you today to just deepen your faith. Plant those seeds so that you can grow those roots and water them so they can grow down deep so that you can be strong in your faith and so that these challenges will not take you out. They might knock you around a little bit, but I pray to God that these challenges are not taking you out completely because these challenges, these tests are not there to break you. They're there to build you up. Amen. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you so much for your word. Oh, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you that you have given us everything we need for life and godliness. So Lord, I just pray that you are helping us to live bold lives, to live lives that bring you glory, Lord. And we just thank you so much that uh, you just help us in our difficult and trying times to just strengthen our faith by pouring out your love and your grace, your mercy and compassion on us, Lord. We just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope that you enjoyed that word. And if you did, I would love for you to please subscribe and like and leave me a comment so we can continue to just grow this community of real Jesus followers. All right. Until next time, take care. God bless. I'll see you next Wednesday.